Yo, what is up? It is me, I'm Tomboy Vic, and I'm back with another reaction. Ooh, I need to do my hair. I need to do it. I'm looking rough out here in these streets, man. Jesus. And I'm back with another reaction, and today I'm going to be reacting to Home Invasion Horror Stories, and it's animated. And this is by Llama Arts, so... I'll be sure to put that in the description down below. But before I even get into this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Yeah. Hopefully this is all the way up. It was a cold, foggy evening when I contacted a close friend of mine to stay at my place for the night. Both of us were only 10 years old at the time, and my parents were often at work Ooh. until midnight, so I was usually alone with nothing to do except watching a television show or reading a book. My friend Alex had agreed to come over and brought a game of Monopoly to pass some of the time. I also asked if he was interested in going to explore an abandoned subway station three miles away. He seemed excited at first, so we planned to go on the trip in the morning. I remembered that the subway dated back to the mid-1920s and became right. abandoned in yeah, 1932 so... after the market crash in 1929. I was very fascinated about history. People are crazy history, exploring these places. Heck no. After my parents had warned me not to enter. As I quietly slept in my bed, I heard what sounded like a gunshot coming from the forest behind the house. Both of us woke up frightened after what we had heard. And I told my friend not to worry, as hunters tend to go into the forest on frequent occasions. But when I checked the time, it was 11.39 p.m. This seemed very unusual, as hunters only came into the forest between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. I looked at Alex and decided to get out of my bed, intending to look through the window and spot for anyone in the forest. The darkness clouded my vision, so I was unable to see anyone in the forest. I turned around and looked at Alex again when suddenly I heard the front door squeak open. Chills went down my spine. Hell no. Both Hell quietly went no. to the bathroom, locked the door, and kept the light off. It was the only safe place in the house. Both of us were terrified as we desperately tried to keep as calm as we could. We heard footsteps getting louder and louder until they stopped in front of the bathroom door. And then this is when the most terrifying sound forced my heart to almost burst. Both of us screamed as the person chopped the door to pieces. It was pitch black inside the room, making it hard to find the vent, and by the time I spotted the vent, the person behind the door had made a hole big enough for us to see him. Wow. The man adorned black leather and was wearing a plague doctor mask. I scurried back to the vent, but it was too high above the floor for us to reach it, so Alex told me to go first because he was the strongest. He lifted no. me up on his shoulders, allowing you me to better hurry up. Get in there. Inside. When I looked at the door again, the man had managed to fit his arm through the hole no. and reached the lock. I quickly grabbed Alex's hand, but struggled to pull him up. Oh, the get, get his feet in! Alex! I shouted and began going after him. I pursued the figure until I was led to the abandoned subway deep within the forest. It was chilly and foggy, meaning that I could Lord. only see objects within a range of five or six yards. Where's the parents at? Inside the subway was a pool of freezing cold water. It was so dark that I couldn't see anything. I had to rely on listening to the screams from Alex and track the source. As I slowly walked through the subway, I was now struggling to breathe under the intense stress and fear of the situation. Alex! I called, but there was no response. I continued walking through the water until the exit was no longer visible. I was now experiencing a massive panic attack. I had lost track of Alex, and I had no idea where I was or how to get out. Where are you, Alex? Really? Oh my god. Wow. That's crazy. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you would like to support the channel, check out the merch link in the video description. That's crazy.
Make sure you go check that merch out. Oh my goodness. I hope that wasn't a true story, man. Cause that would suck. Wow. Anyways, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to my brown butt, okay? Subscribe on the road to a thousand subscribers, all right? So make sure you subscribe. And if you have anything you want me to react to, put it in the link down below. And make sure you subscribe to my brown butt. P-E-E.